Okay guys, today we are saying goodbye to our refrigerator, our stove, the microwave, and the dishwasher. We ordered new ones and they will be delivered sometime to today. So we're saying goodbye to the old ones. There's really there's nothing wrong with the old ones. The refrigerator wasn't getting very cold, but we, I don't know, they did something to it, to the compressor, and it works fine now. But we had already ordered the new set, and it's stainless steel. The fingerprint proof, the fingerprint proof, proof stainless steel. So I will try and um, sell, this, sell these, I guess. But I hope my new dishwasher works as good as that old one, because that one, that one kicks butt. The dishes get so clean in here. I just washed my last load of dishes. But they get really clean in there. And the refrigerator, I don't, I, I can, do not like a side-by-side -side refrigerator. We're getting the, um, the refrigerator and the, the freezer's gonna be on the bottom, the refrigerator's gonna be on the top. Um, yeah, I don't like a side-by-side. -side. And then the microwave, it is gonna be, I think it's about the same size. It might be a little taller, but I can take that out, slide this up, and the microwave will go up higher. And then um, the stove, you know, the microwave won't be right here under this, I mean, that close. It's not supposed to be that close. They said it's supposed to be 17 inches away from it, but that's not 17 inches. So I think I measured it and it was like 13 or something. Anyways, they're coming to, they're coming today and um, they're going to, let's see, I'm going to have them hook up the refrigerator. That was only 10 bucks extra. Okay. The stove, um... They would have hooked up if I had bought a brand new um, cord, but there's nothing wrong with the cord on the back of that one. And why should I pay $35 for a cord when I can take the cord off that one and put it on the new one? Plus, we know it fits into, sometimes the 220s are not all the same. We know it fits into the 220. And the microwave, they wanted $109 to hook up, so we're going to do that ourselves. And the dishwasher, my God, they wanted $200-something to hook up the dishwasher. So, we're going to do it all ourselves, except for the refrigerator. We're going to have them, um, trying to think. It was 10 bucks for them to hook the water up, you know, for the ice maker and for the, um, for the water that comes out. So, they're going to hook that up. Tyler had to go to work, um, at 6 o'clock. So, I haven't been to sleep at all. So I have to take him to work, and then I'm going to try to take a nap before they come. But they're coming today, and um, I can't wait. So I will show you when they get here. It's like 5-something in the morning. And um, I just didn't go. I, I couldn't sleep, so I didn't go to sleep because I knew I wouldn't want to get up to take him to work. So anyways, that's what we're doing. And um, I will show you guys when the new appliances get here. Okay, guys, look, we got our new appliances. Boy, was it a pain in the ass to put that microwave up. But look, no more gap at the top of the cabinet. We got to raise the cabinet up. So now I don't have to deal with that piece now and make it, you know, make it look like it fits. I'm so excited. Look, at it matches right with the cabinets, Tyler. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. I love it. Jennifer's here from Georgia. Look at the fridge. I'll show you guys more when we get rid of some of this mess. Oh, look at this. I thought it was blue. <laughs> oh, I got a blue drawer, huh? Okay, guys, check out the new microwave and stove. It's beautiful. And the new refrigerator. I love this refrigerator. Check it out. This is the freezer. And then you have a, a little thing here. It's awesome. And then this here is for, is there a mark on there? Oh, no, I just went up. This here is for um, cheeses and just, it's just an easy access tray. And then, of course, you have your refrigerator. And I have stuff in here. Um, and um, it's awesome. This is, like, weird because there's no, you know, what do you put in there? Anyways, those are small things. But this side here would hold a gallon of milk if we wanted to, but I got so much junk that um, 
we didn't use it for that. But it looks so pretty. It's beautiful. What do you guys think? I need backups so you can actually see it all. It looks amazing. So, also, there's the dishwasher. And it's just so pretty. I didn't hook this in all the way because I had a leak. So, we only got a few things in there now. I tried to wash. I had a leak, so I had to stop it. But I tried to wash dishes on, um, after we got the leak fixed, I tried to wash dishes on the one hour setting. And they didn't come clean. I was like so mad. It was like, no. Because the old dishwasher was, it was, it was 2000. 10 but it kicked butt it it really cleaned your dishes but it took two hours so i probably have to put that on a regular setting a longer setting anyways i am so happy with this it looks really pretty and then look we lost the gap up there i don't have to fix that i still i know you guys are waiting on this i still have to fix this and um also i still have to fix this here I got so much junk piled up on there now. I, I decided to keep the cat treats here. That bucket was full and the cats, the cats or Louie knocked that thing down and ate every one of them dang treats. So, um, I still got to finish that. But I'm so happy with the appliances. We had a hell of a time getting the microwave in. And then the, the refrigerator, they were supposed to hook up the water line for me. But being says no shut off valve behind the refrigerator, they wouldn't do it. We had to, we, all we had to do was go on the side of the house and shut the water off, and we did it ourselves, but they wouldn't do it. And then, um, the stove, we took the cord off of the other stove and, um, put it on the back of this one. And then the micro, or the dishwasher, I hooked it up. I had a leak. It was bad. And, but I, you know, kept it contained and cleaned it up. And then, um, we rehooked it up and started running it, and, it was, it wasn't leaking. I didn't think it was leaking. It was just dripping. So we had a good sized puddle, you know, just a small puddle. Um, so what we did was we took it off and then I found in a box. It was laying somewhere else. The box with the magnets. This is all the magnets from the fridge. Oh well, yeah, I found in this box the brand new hose for the dishwasher. I didn't even know we had one. So we ended up taking the hose off and putting the brand new hose on and it works fine now. There's no leaks. I think I used it since then. I can't remember. Anyways, um, I think it's fine. Any, in, anyways, but um, we have like there's a little scratch right here. I might have already showed you guys this. There's a little part right here where the seal's not sealed right. So they're coming out to look at it this week. Those two things, and then on the door, if you look at that, you don't see any scratches. Nowhere. Looks fine, but. When we had the leak and I had to get down here real low. I don't know if you can see them now or not. There's scratches all the way across the bottom. And I don't know if it's the angle that you're at. Oh, God. I don't know. But anyways, they're going to come look at it. and They better, like, fix it or replace it or something. Because I spent a lot of money on this stuff. All right. So, there it is. I'm so happy. Excited. You excited, baby, for the new appliances? Give them a kiss. Oh, give the fans a kiss. They want a kiss. Oh, they like that. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Got a kiss from Tyler. Good morning, everyone. Today, I had to go to the pool supply store. It's called Pinch a Penny. Um, my, fil my, my pool was not filtering right, and I couldn't figure out why because I kept cleaning the filter, cleaning the filter. But I've been here over a year, and you're supposed to change your filter once a year. Now, the filter was here when I moved here, so I don't know, you know, it didn't look brand new when I moved here. So, I don't know how long it's been here. But um, lately, the pool, I think I've showed you guys the pool, has just, the stuff's been on the top of the pool. It's been driving me insane. It's like, why is this stuff on the top of the pool? Um... So today I went and I bought a brand new filter, which I'm going to show you guys everything I bought. Um, and um, I bought some pool supplies. Today was like 10% off day. Things were on sale and it's 10% off day. So let me show you guys what I got. Okay, so there's the new filter. I don't know if you can see it. 
Oh, that, that don't work. Yeah, I guess you can see it. Anyways, there's the new filter. Nice and clean. I don't know how, um, mine didn't have these bands around it, so I don't know how it's, how you're supposed to clean it. Anyways, I bought, also bought this, um, it's an aqua comb. You hook your water hose to this, and this helps spread the, spread these things open to get all the stuff out of there. Maybe this band's supposed to come off. Maybe I'm supposed to take that off, but it doesn't feel like it. Mine was probably so old that it didn't have the bands on it. Anyways, all right, and here is a jug that they give you for free. And um, if you take your water to them at Pencha Penny, they will um, they will ins check the water out for free and tell you everything you need for your pool. Most people in, in the state of Florida that have a swimming pool have a pool guy. Well, when I moved here and um, the pool guy stopped by because he had taken care of this pool for the last eight years, I said, no, I think I'm going to try to do it myself. I'm doing a really good job. Anyways, so all you have to do is fill this up. What you have to do is you have to take the top off, make sure the pump is running in the pool, and then you put it in upside down about, I don't know, arms leak down. And then once you get way down there, about, arm, about I don't know, foot and a half, however long your arm is, then you flip it over and you let it fill up and then you put the top on it and you take it to them. And they test it for chlorine, for shock, for alkaline, for calcium, for all this stuff. So in the past year, I've needed shock and I've needed alkaline and I've needed calcium. So I figured, well, you know, it's a deal today. Everything's on sale. Go ahead and let me just stock up on the stuff. So I got a filter. It was like, oh, oh he must be going after a squirrel. Anyways, the filter was like $89. That was after the discount, so it was it was more than that. It was like ninety dollars or something. I don't know how much it was. Anyways, after the discount, the filter was like eighty. I think it was eighty nine dollars. And then the Super Shock, this box of six packages is twenty six dollars. Um, the Alkaline and the Calcium. One of these was nineteen ninety nine, and one of them was seventeen ninety nine. I don't know which. And then this Calm. Hopefully, it turns out to work really good because. This comb was $26. So, I don't know. Hopefully, it turns out to be good. But I have to go out here and put the filter in the pool. But let's go check out the pool and see what it looks like. Didn't look as bad. I bought this, um... Oh, I didn't tell you guys about that, did I? I bought... Yeah, I did. I think I did. The pool magic. I bought this pool magic. It looks like I need to put the vacuum back on at the bottom. I bought this pool magic stuff that's supposed to, um... Take all the yucky stuff to one corner and um, and then you can scoop it out. I see a big old bumblebee in there. Or not a bumblebee. Yeah, I guess it is a bumblebee. But I think I'm going to put the new filter in and then um, probably hook the vacuum cleaner back up. Because I see stuff on the bottom. You see that stuff? I don't know how if you guys can see it or not. But the stuff on the bottom. I do have a hand vacuum too. And I could do the steps with that, but I, I, I do that in the summertime when I get in the pool. I haven't gotten in the pool for a while. And then um, back here, my light bulb blew out. And he's telling me you have to get down in the pool. I'm trying to look and see what I can see there. He said you take the top screw out and then the bottom comes off. I don't see how the bottom's going to come off. I don't even know if I'm showing you guys. Anyways, he said to get in there and take the screw out. And then it should have enough cord to lift it up onto the deck. And then open the seal and take the light bulb out and put a new light bulb in. But, um, I don't know. I'm scared I'm going to get shocked, guys. And they want $80 just to do it. And then it costs, the cheapest light bulb is 15 And then you got to get a new seal. So, I don't know. I might try it in the summertime when I can get in the pool. Hopefully I don't get electrocuted. Anyways, look right there. I see all that stuff right there. I think it is ants. It is. They're like, either they're moving or... Let me see. Is that ants? That is ants. So there's a shit ton of ants in my pool. I mean, they're swimming in the water. 
That is ridiculous. Now that, um, that magic stuff that I bought, what is it called? Clear magic? I think I showed you guys the other day. Let me go back in here and grab it. Um, what's it called? It's called surface magic. That guy said that I might have to do it for a week or so. Um, put a few drops in every day for like a week to get it actually really clear and um and then go to once a week you know do it every day and then go once a week he said it won't will not hurt the pool so I may I think I'm gonna go ahead and put some more drops in now and then I'll turn the pump on let me put the drops in over here by the blowers I'm gonna put the new filter in so We'll put a drop there, okay, and then we'll go down here by this blow, this this blower thing. Oh, God, don't fall in the pool. See, that's got one of them blowers down there. Let me put a drop here. Let me put two drops there. So that's, what, three? Three? And then there's one down here. Four, five. Okay, so I'm going to put the new filter in. And um, it's really not hard to keep up your pool, especially if you go to Pinch Penny because they tell you take the water in, even if it turned green. Like the one time we went on vacation and come back and it would, had some green in it, it was simple to take care of. It's, it's a little costly. You know, I spent almost $300 today, but that stuff should last me all summer. Oh, I didn't show you what else I got. It's in the car. I can't get it out of the car. It's heavy. It's a 40 pound bucket of. Um, chlorine tablets and it was 115 before the discount and um I don't, I don't remember what it was after the discount like 105 or something 104 anyways that's in the back of my car Tyler will have to get that out I can show you kind of let's see I got this little wagon out here with this junk I don't even know what's in here I wish I could just say Tyler throw it away but I can't I can't just throw anything away um this is my my towels and my junk and my pool supplies. This bucket right here I bought last year. And this one was $62. And it's only 15 pounds. And then my nephew found a bucket like this on the side of the road. Half full last year. And gave it to me for free. So that lasted me all summer. And all the way up until now. I still have some in there actually. So I bought a 40 pound bucket. That's 15 pounds. I bought a 40 pound bucket so it should last me at least a year maybe longer and I still have shock in there I have three bags it looks like there but it should last me all summer okay so let's get this filter and go over here and put it in you guys want to help me who wants to help who wants to carry it it's light the other one was so heavy I guess they said it was heavy because it was in bad shape. This side of my yard looks like crap. Oh shit, I never turned the water off. I left that water running the whole time I was gone. I had the water on this morning to clean the filter. Okay. So, I was, I pressure washed that mailbox too because I'm going to paint it. I'm going to put it out front. So anyways, here's the filter. I got all this junk in the way. Because I was out here pressure washing this morning. And then here's the... Oh. We have to open this up. And then um, put the filter in. Oh, shit. Okay, so... I think... Oh, I think I got it. Okay, so that's what it looks like inside of there. You just put it over top of that. And I guess it doesn't matter which way it goes. Let me turn it over and look. I guess it goes this way. I don't know. I don't think it matters which way it goes. And then you just put it over top. And you... This one's got a thing in the middle. What the fudge sickle shit. Okay, there we go. Alright, so then you just put it over top. And, um... Inside here has got a little thing that you um, put that thing right, the screw right up in the middle of that. All right, so then you just put it back.
back on there. You get it down on that screw, and then you just start spinning it until it's tight, and it makes some icky noises like the dentist. Hold on. Yeah. And then when you turn your pump on, you make sure it's not, um, ow, this thing's hard. Make sure it's not leaking. I ain't got no muscle, guys. All right, hold on. I gotta use two hands. All right, so I think that's good. Okay, let's turn the pump on and see what happens. Oh, I gotta put this over here. Let's see. Okay, there it goes. Let's walk over here because that guy said that when you turn the pump on, that surface magic works instantly, he said. So let's see how instantly it brings that garbage to the edge. Oh, oh my God, it's really blowing. I guess it's getting air now. You know, he said that it was in bad, that that filter was in bad shape. Wow, it's really bubbling now. Yeah, he said that that filter was in bad shape. He said with the new filter, I'll get more airflow. So, hmm, all the yucky stuff should start floating. We'll see. I can see it there, but I'm not seeing it floating to no corner. He said, he said almost instantly. Boy, it's really blowing now. So where's all them ants at that were here? I don't see them. There's a couple there. Oh, they're going that way. Look, guys. Can you see I'm going that way? So almost instantly they're all supposed to go to one corner. Or to one section. Boy, it's really making some noises now. Yeah, I guess we got some good airflow now, now that we got a new filter. That stuff is moving pretty quick. Look, guys. Can you see it? Remember it was back here? Look how far it's moved. So let's see where it goes. I can see there's a whole bunch over there around that around that um, hose. But let's see where this goes, because it's all moving. And then I'm supposed to be able to, it's supposed to go to one corner and I'm supposed to be able to clean it out. And it's definitely moving, that's so weird. I wonder if it's going to move out from around that hose, though. Let's walk over here. There's some here, too. I don't see it moving anywhere. I'm going to move the hose, so maybe... Maybe that, um... Oh! I'll get the stuff off the hose. There's a whole bunch of stuff right there, too. I'm gonna move the hose around here. Just to get the stuff off the hose. Now it looks like that stuff's coming back this way. There's that big pile of it coming this direction. I don't know, maybe the hose is getting in the way. Let's walk the hose around the other side. That way it cleans, gets all the junk off the hose. Here, I'm walking the hose in a circle. Look, it looks like it's just all going over there in the filter. That would be cool. I don't even have to scoop it. 
It really looks like it's getting clean. What do you guys think? There's some stuff there. Let me put this here. Let me just drop this here. So we can watch this. It looks like it's all going towards the filter. Which could be because um, it's a brand new filter. Let's see what this is doing. It's yucking there. I don't see it sucking any harder there. But somehow all that stuff always ends up in the filter. But maybe all that yuck came into the filter, into here. I mean, look, it's all coming. It's coming this direction. There's a bunch out there, too, though. Come on. Come on over. I don't know. Louie's out there rolling in the grass. There's so much like stuff. Look at that bug. He's alive still. Huh. Alright, well I guess I gotta scoop the pool. Let me see where I'm going to set you guys up at. Set you guys up back here. And I'm going to get the net and I'm going to scoop the pool. I don't see where it's taking all of it, piling it together though. So that I can scoop it out. I'm here. All right, thanks. Bye. Okay. So I think it a little bit. Hopefully, the rest of it goes into the cell phone. Good guys. Looking good. All right, let me hook up the um the battery. Okay. 
okay, it needs to start vacuuming. What's it doing? It ain't moving. Ah, there it goes. Okay, so the vacuum is going and I have someone coming to look at the stove. I don't I probably showed you guys what was wrong with the stove. It's nothing really wrong with it. It works. Let's go in and I'll show you. Oh, it's going to be dark from being in the outside. Okay. So, I got to get some lights on here. I can't see. Okay. All right, wrong thing. There's the light. Okay, I probably showed you guys. There's a little the piece of the seal right here is not sealing. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. And then the bottom of the dishwasher is all scratched. So they're coming out to inspect it because I didn't tell them within 48 hours of them delivering it. I didn't even get the stuff installed within 48 hours because we installed it ourselves because they wanted like a lot of money to install all these pieces so and and also I showed you guys this is there's a scratch going across here all right so they will be here any second 